Davin Lim from Lasers and Lifts. I'm a board certified laser dermatologist. Um, today, in this channel, we'll be talking about how I use my fractional lasers. There are many fractional lasers out there and I pick a particular type based upon the condition I'm treating, namely whether it's skin pigmentation, skin rejuvenation or acne scarring, but also the skin color of the patient, so the ethnic color of the patient, and most importantly, the downtime. In this very short five minute video, I'll go through some of the fractional lasers which I use. Down the line, or down the months, I'll be specific with each of these lasers, so we can go into more detail. But this is a general outline of just some fractional lasers and how they work in my practice. Thanks for watching. Fractional laser resurfacing using different lasers and different wavelengths all work by the same principle. Basically, we're treating fractions of skin so that the remaining skin can actually heal up quicker. So, the first example I'll use would be a Fraxel laser. Um, this is a Fraxel uh, 1550 laser, and it's good as an all-round laser for basically scar revision. Um, it's not great for one particular purpose, but great for a multitude of purposes. It's like a Swiss Army knife, really. Um, here I'm performing uh, Fraxel 1550, once again for skin rejuvenation and, and acne scarring. The downtime following this type of laser procedure is about five days. Fraxel also produces another laser called the Fraxel Repair. This is a CO2 laser and is also used for scarring. So it's best for more severe atrophic acne scarring, but it can also help with skin rejuvenation. Once again, it's like a Swiss Army knife. It really does a lot of things, but it doesn't do one thing really, really well. Uh, nevertheless, it is a very, very good laser, and uh, the downtime for this is about 10 days. That's with a Fraxel CO2 or um, repair. Another fractional laser which I like using is a CO2 core by um, Cineron Candela. The reason why I like using this laser is the flexibility of the use. So in other words, I can freehand and control the density itself, and I can do multiple overlaps from 1% to 5% and keep overlapping on certain spots. So I find this a much, much more versatile uh, laser. And this is the laser of choice for um, acne scar revision. That's when I'm using it to treat rolling and atrophic scars. Another laser which I also use that's fractionated is called a fractionated erbium laser. So an erbium laser gives less downtime compared to a CO2 laser and is best suited for darker skin types. Uh, quicker recovery rates with an erbium and often I mix this together with um, a fully ablative laser. So you can see me doing a fractionated laser erbium. Once again we can control the densities with this all the way up to 22% with, um, with this laser. Um, Overall, a very, very good laser by Cyton and um, a very flexible one as well. So I use this for acne scarring in darker skin types. Now, this is not a laser. This is a fractionated radio frequency micro needling, um, and it's by a company called Infini Electronic. I find this an extremely good uh, machine. It's once again, it's not a laser, but I find that it's, it's probably the best realistically for treating atrophic acne scarring, tethered acne scars. And the reason why I like it is because I can control the depth of delivery anywhere from 0.25 to three millimeters when it comes to microneedling. And I can basically control everything from the energy delivery, the depth, um, and that really, it's, it's fantastic. I, I can't speak more highly of, it, of, this, of, of this machine itself. Um, and the key of this is the insulated needles. So basically, it's fractionated radio frequency, which stimulates collagen production, and it's micro-needling and not laser. The beauty about this is that it spares the top part of your skin, or the epidermis, um, much like this uh, next machine, which is basically the E-Matrix. The E-Matrix only treats the upper part of the skin, or epidermis. It's called subablative. So if you look at this diagram, what it does is it has pinpoint areas of contact. It doesn't actually penetrate the skin, but just the top layer of the skin. It rests on the top layer and delivers energy to the upper parts of the um, skin, or the dermal layers. 
Um, this is a very low downtime, extremely low downtime, about two days. In the US, you have 50 millijoules maximum. In Australia, we're clocked up to 100 millijoules. It's a slightly more powerful machine in Australia. 64-pin uh, delivery, uh, and it's great, once again, for early acne scars, much like this laser, the Pico Shure Fractional Focus. So this laser has almost no downtime. I use it in fractional mode using the 755 Focus. Uh, and I like this. I really, really like this for pigmentation, but I also like this for the treatment of early acne scars. Brilliant. So what are the before and afters like following all of these treatments? So this is a basic before and after following three to four treatments of CO2 and one skin CO2 laser, three to four treatments. These are classic examples. This is my favorite as well, CO2 laser resurfacing before and after. These are realistic expectations following multiple treatments of CO2. This is with the E matrix um, as part of my RF program. So treating early acne scars and active acne with that. Hey guys, thanks for watching this really, really short clip. I can go on, on and on about lasers, but um, for further information, please subscribe to my channel. Hey, over the next coming months, I'll go through each specific laser and energy device uh, and how I employ them in my practice. Thanks for viewing.